Okay, so it's day 29 of the Creativity Challenge, and I want to read a piece out to you. Just a quick reminder that in the beginning was the word, that reality itself is that which lies beyond words, right? You can't put reality into words as such, and yet we as humans, the way that we create is with the word and over the last 10 14 years um, as part of my yoga practice I've become more and more aware of the words I speak and so I speak only as much as possible what is true right or what points to truth because the truth can never be put into words and I also speak that which I wish to have happen like I'm just mindful of what I say and what I don't say like I respect the word I respect the power of speech you know like in uh, Tantra and yoga <laughs> Saraswati on her tongue she had Saraswati on her tongue that I wrote that down and it just stuck with me for a long time because Saraswati she is the goddess of the arts and wisdom and creation like creativity as such right and oh my goodness I feel like I'm getting slightly distracted but that saying is just coming to me you know like when we respect the word when we speak only that which we wish to experience right no more words of hatred imagine that <laughs> imagine that um, so for me to speak this piece it's I'm making a vow in some ways like I, I feel the emotion there now I knew this would get emotional it's like I'm setting a course for the next stage of my life um, I just turned 49 a month ago and you know it's my last year before I turned 50 and 50 is like it's kind of the halfway mark although I might live to 120 127 with all the yoga practice and the prana you know who knows um, yeah, and I feel like I'm in this really interesting phase of my life where, sorry, now I have hair in my eye. Um, yeah, this really interesting phase of my life where I'm really reconsidering all the things. <laughs> you know, when I was a teenager, there was this huge expectation or idea that I would be like successful on like the world stage or something. And, you know, I went through my 20s partying and living and da da da. And then I'm like, fuck, I need to get on to this thing I'm meant to be doing. And, and I ended up in a psych ward and, you know, I had to heal from a really, really traumatic experience um, and felt like such a failure. Like I was letting everyone down, I was letting the world down, like I wasn't being what I was meant to be or something. And of course it was all a delusion. It was all a complete delusion based on the stories that I was telling myself and the expectations and the conditioning and all of this stuff. Um, and it's taken me probably 20 years to see through that and to realize that and to realize that there is nothing I need to be except what I am. <laughs> um, yeah, so speaking this out loud is it's not just words for me, it's, it's a vow, it's setting course, it's saying this is what matters to me and this is how I'm going to show up to life. Um, yeah. So this is inspired by a conversation I had the other night, two or three, four, five nights ago, and it just really stuck with me. Um, you know, someone saying to me, like, this is what I'm going to be doing, this is how I'm, I'm orientating. I was like, whoa, you, I think it was kind of like, you're allowed to do that? You're allowed to just live like that? And so I started to feel into it and contemplate it, and this piece of writing um, came out of that so I'm going to share it with you I'll put the full text in the Instagram post or down below in, in the YouTube because um, I might end up saying more as I go we'll see what happens okay so I just need to pull it up all right this could get emotional world I'm done I love you 
but you're on your own. I'm retreating to this corner of the universe where I'm going to pour love into my son, family, friends, clients, and students, colleagues, and immediate community, immediate community. Social media, it's not useful for me to see the horrors of humanity at its worst while drinking my evening cup of tea. It's not gonna, that I'm going to stick my head in the sand and pretend that horror doesn't exist. Rather, I'm going to protect and conserve my energy so I can anchor and build a field of fierce love and compassion that protects and restores the humans who come into contact with me. I will do the difficult and challenging work of dissolving the poisons that live inside of me. Greed, hatred, and delusion. For real. <laughs> For real. That's my battle. I will fight it so that I can be as clear and radiant as possible. I will counter those poisons through the cultivation of generosity, loving kindness, and wisdom. This is the battle that I wholeheartedly give myself to. Every breath, every beat of my heart. I surrender fighting against the greed, hatred, and delusion of the world. It can be whatever it is. I let go of wishing that other people showed up how I want them to be as embodiments of generosity, loving kindness, and wisdom. I mean, if I'm bringing that to the party, maybe that's all that matters. I will build my capacity for handling intensity and I will dedicate myself to mastering fear so that it never imprisons me again. I will care for and love this aging body and mind, feeling daily the great blessing of this flesh suit that allows me to dance and walk and express. I will love the humans who cross my path with everything I've got because no one ever has too much love and it will be a fierce love. The kind that's unafraid and emblazoned with truth because I've experienced the harm caused by a soft love that excuses. I will serve the goddess with every thought word and action okay i'll forget and i'll fuck up and i'll need to repair and make amends but i will pick myself up again and remember her and step right back into practice because what else is there to do world i love you and you're on your own because I am done. <laughs> so it is. So it is. So it is. <laughs> there you have it. I'm aware that you know this may not seem like a big deal to you to any of you but for me it feels like it feels like kind of knowingness it feels like a home it feels like somewhere to rest it feels like arriving it feels like nothing else is left it feels like this is just what it is it feels like beauty and love and joy and it feels like that so much love to you all. <laughs> May you find your way if you are lost. May you know the truth of who and what you are. And may all beings be free. May all beings be free. May all beings be free. <laughs>